What can you say after three games you finally able to win through? What can you say, Coach? Uh, we're obviously very happy. Um, the guys fought really hard. <coughs> I said, I said early on that you know we were going to be the team that plays in patches, which is typical of a young team. And fourth quarter was a really bad patch, but we survived. It. And um, you know we. Uh, took care of our third quarter woes, at least for this game, and, and that was really refreshing, and, and it made us feel a lot better. But fourth quarter, Adamson did a really good job. You know, Nash is, is about as smart as they come, very experienced, and, you know, he started switching with his big man, and they were trusting uh, Cedric to, you know, play our guards one-on-one, -on -one, and, and uh, he did a great job of that. And it, it, uh, it really caused us to become tentative, Fell, we, we fell into that trap of only shooting threes, and, and you know it almost uh, almost cost us. But this guy over here, he played you know big minutes, um, played virtually the whole fourth quarter, and uh, you know he had to. Uh, Cedric's a really tough matchup for anybody. Um, most teams, of course, throw their import at him, and he still does a good job, but. Uh, you know, Ports did a great job for us today. And Cedric's got a couple of buckets in the fourth, but uh, apart from that, uh, it was a big stop when he had to get one, and a big rebound, offensive rebound, big stick back. So that was great, and it was great to have Chris back in, in his playing shoes today and, and uh, you know, hitting shots and, and making tough plays. So, you know, we're really happy getting the win. We're really happy that, you know, some pieces did a good job. Um, but we, we, we aren't going to play any games this year where we don't take a lot of lessons from and certainly we'll get some from this one. Thank you, Coach. That to Christian Porter, you have 8 points, 10 rebounds, 1 block, 1 steal, and 1 assist. So, ano mga sabi mo sa matchup nyo nung fourth quarter ni Cedric Manzano? And eventually, you guys pull it through. What can you say? Cedric's a really talented he is something, uh, someone they used to be compared to coming to the league. And a matchup with him has always been something I look towards. And uh, when I finally got to play against him, um, I've, I've felt so many emotions, happy, uh, being happy, being frustrated. But overall, um, I just did what I had to do and pulled through. Thank you, Christian. To Chris, you have 8 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and plus 11. We'll come back after missing 2 games. How does it feel to be back on the floor and help the Blue Eagles win? Yeah, it feels great. It's, it's been 2 games I've been out, but it's been feeling like forever. Uh, so it's really great to just be back with the guys. I thought we had a really great start, and we kind of just had to maintain that. Um, and that's one step in our goal, so one game, we got to move on now to the next game. Thank you. Okay, the third question is for start for Chris and for Christian. For Chris and Christian. Okay, so good evening, Adonai. Uh, congrats on the win. So, Christian, about your matchup with Manzano, how do you think is it like big for your development that you get to play a better and big man in the league against him in such a crucial moment in the game? Uh, for sure, I'm going to get a lot of learnings from this. Uh, uh, there were patches where I fell short, and those patches are going to be something that's going to be bothering me for a while until I actually fix them and get better on them. Christian, this week, former Ateneo basketball members and champions visited your practice. How did that visit motivate you guys coming on this game? It's a different thing when previous BMOB uh, members come back and you know show their love. And I experienced that firsthand as a rookie. I felt the BMOB culture, and I felt that they had my backs and our backs. And after that, I had eyes forward, and knowing that no matter what happens, they'd be there for me. So part of that. Um, as part of the um, sorry, I'm, I'm mind blanking right now. Uh, yeah, it's 
it's their support that really help people to pull through. A same question but about uh, your about the players, the, your alumni. Okay, so. Yeah, that was great. Um, all of us didn't really know they were coming in. Um, we felt their presence. They were they, each of them to talk to us, and um, it felt we had the, the guys come in uh, before uh, season eighty five. Uh, but this felt a little different, it was a different tone, um, <laughs> definitely. Um, and it was tough for us because we didn't really feel like anybody believed in us besides ourselves. So it was great to have past players that um, still put that trust in us, still put that belief in us, but also gave us the challenge to uh, exceed and live up to the standard of the Bebop culture. Um, so it was really great to, to have them come, and I think it definitely played a role in our game tonight. Okay, questions for Chris and Christian. None. You can. Thank you. Oh, we have close staff. Guys, any questions for close staff? Anyone? Close staff. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Good evening, Coach. Coach, can you just. Speak on Ateneo in your in your videos finally showing the composure, especially in the second half, and that eventually allowed you to get the first game of the season. Yeah, I think it was one of those you know bend but not break scenarios, and, and uh, we haven't been in that obviously. <clears throat> it was great to have a lead, you know, really for the first time this year at a critical stage of a game. And we got to feel what it's like for the other team to be desperate. And, you know, certainly Adamson made big runs in that fourth quarter, and, and they bent us. Uh, we really had to dig in because tactically, uh, when a team is switching on you, players just have to make plays. And, um, you know, there's not a lot you can do tactically to, to discourage that. But once you score against switching defenses, then coaches a lot of times will stop switching. We didn't do that. And, you know, we only had 10 points in the fourth quarter. And credit, you know, Nash and the way they executed their switching defense. So, um, and they rebounded the hell out of the ball in the fourth quarter. But I think that the, the composure moment of the game was when Ports got the offensive rebound and the putback. You know, that was, that was what gave us all a, sort of popped the balloon. You know, the pressure went out. And, from that point, we handled the ball well. We played good defense. We rebounded at the defensive end. And, uh, you know, as Steve, uh, Sean Tuano made free throws. And uh, it's something he struggled with. But, you know, again, we've been working on that with him. We made some adjustments. And it was great to see. So it's good to get a win. Um, we obviously always want better performances. But, uh, you know, we'll take this one and uh, look forward next week to FEU, knowing that that's going to be tough. They're very desperate now, and um, we obviously can't be anything but desperate if we want to get serious about climbing the ladder. Battery at 80%. For a young team like, uh, that you have, to have that kind of support from your know, former players and even now the community. Well, the community is always great. You know, the Ateneo community has a reputation of, uh, you know, it's the school we choose, win or lose, right? So, um, and you know, I, I've been blessed to be here in a winning era. So I haven't seen the community when times didn't look so good. And yet they're still here. You know, they're still supporting the team. All the messages are there. Uh, all the social media posts. I mean, not all of them. Of course, there's some negative stuff and you probably deserve some. But, you know, the vast majority is positive. The players coming in the other day, for me it was emotional, you know, to see guys that I've been through so much with. And, you know, I love them. I don't have any qualms about saying that. You know, they're very, very special people, very special players. But I think the important thing was that they didn't feel like the culture that we had worked so hard to establish in the, you know, 79 up to 84 era, 85 era, they really 84 to be honest, they didn't feel like that culture was alive. And 
they wanted the current team to understand a bit more about it from their perspective. And these guys can say, you know, it was nice to have them there and feel the support, but there was absolutely pressure put on by the former players. Uh, there were some very strong statements about um, how a believer conducts himself on the court, on the bench, in front of the camera. Um, and I was really proud, really proud of watching these young men um, stand up for something that is special. And I think that fighting spirit you saw today in the fourth quarter, things weren't going well. These guys were still fighting their hearts out to get that win. And so it's a, you know, it's a great edification of um, that visit and you know, how to play the game from an emotional standpoint. You obviously have to play it better from a talent and tactics standpoint, but from an emotional standpoint, it was a tough win. And, uh, I'm very proud of those former players that came, and I'm very proud of this team today. You mentioned, Coach, about FU under Coach Sean Chambers, so what can you say about FU? Well, I have a lot of work to do, you know, to uh, get into the scouting reports that the coaches have already done and, you know, and kind of get myself up to speed. I sort of take the games one at a time and let the coaches do the advanced scouting. But, you know, FEU's had a couple of games where they had teams on the ropes and, and played pretty well. Um, they're capable. They've got some really good young talent. Um, and, you know, they're desperate to win. They want to get that same feeling that, that we got tonight. So. We, we don't have any reason to stand up and, and be beating our chests right now. We've got a lot of ground to make up if we're going to get in the hunt for a playoffs spot later in this year. And that's what we need to be focused on, and just taking it one game at a time and, and trying to live up to a standard that we believe it's important to have, uh, which is a standard of excellence. And that's where you'll find the wins. So we've got a lot of work to do.